The James Webb Space Telescope, decades in development with a $10 billion price tag, was expected to resolve astronomy's expanding universe controversy. Instead, it ignited an even fiercer debate with research teams analyzing identical data, yet reaching opposite conclusions. Today, we will explore the scientific standoff known as the Hubble Tension, a disagreement that could reveal a fundamental flaw in our understanding of cosmic physics. Meet Nobel laureate Adam Rice and pioneering astronomer Wendy Friedman, two brilliant minds whose competing approaches have created what many consider a crisis in cosmology. Why does a seemingly technical disagreement have astronomers so concerned? A universe in dispute, the battle of the constants. Imagine two teams of brilliant scientists, each armed with cutting-edge technology and decades of research, arriving at fundamentally different conclusions about how fast our universe is expanding. Not because either team made mistakes, but because the universe seems to be telling two different stories. At the heart of this cosmic controversy lies a deceptively simple number known as the Hubble constant. This value measures how quickly galaxies are moving away from us and from each other as space expands. Picture yourself standing on a cosmic sidewalk, watching traffic. The Hubble constant tells you exactly how fast traffic accelerates as it moves away from you. It measures this expansion in kilometers per second per megaparsec, each megaparsec equaling about 3.26 million light years. This single number is the key that unlocks our understanding of cosmic history. The Hubble constant directly determines the universe's age, shapes our models of galaxy formation, and helps predict the ultimate fate of everything we know. And that's where our drama begins. Using completely different but equally valid measurement techniques, two scientific camps have arrived at values for the Hubble constant that refuse to align. The Cosmic Microwave Background Team, analyzing data from the Planck satellite, reports a value of approximately 67.4 kilometers per second per megaparsec. Meanwhile, the distance ladder method championed by Nobel laureate Adam Rees and his SH0ES team consistently finds a significantly higher value, 73.2. These numbers might seem close, but imagine two expert marksmen aiming at the same target and consistently hitting different bullseyes. Both can't be correct about the true center. As one cosmologist remarked, it's like having two highly accurate GPS systems that place you in different cities. Picture these competing values as train tracks that should converge, but instead run stubbornly parallel. Each unit difference translates to a discrepancy of hundreds of millions of years in our calculation of the universe's age. The higher value suggests a universe billions of years younger than the CMB measurements indicate, a fundamental contradiction. On one side stands the CMB camp. We're looking at the universe's baby picture, explains one Planck researcher, Using their satellite, they've captured the most precise image of the oldest light in the universe, the afterglow of the Big Bang itself. By analyzing tiny temperature fluctuations in this ancient radiation, they've reconstructed the universe's expansion since its earliest moments. The distance ladder camp takes a more direct approach. We're measuring what's happening in our cosmic backyard right now, Reese has pointed out. His SH0ES team measures actual distances and recession velocities of galaxies in our cosmic neighborhood, building step-by-step -step from nearby objects and extending outward using standard candles to calculate distances further into space. What makes this tension profound are the implications. If both teams are measuring correctly, and after years of scrutiny, no significant errors have been found, something is fundamentally wrong with our understanding of physics. The standard model of cosmology, encompassing everything from the Big Bang to dark energy, faces a serious threat. The Hubble tension suggests unknown forces at work, new particles we haven't discovered, or properties of dark energy that behave differently than we thought. The expansion rate has changed in ways our current models don't account for. The Hubble constant tests whether our entire cosmic model is correct. Like a loose thread that could unravel the tapestry of our understanding, this discrepancy forces cosmologists to question decades-old assumptions. Cosmic rulers, two ways to measure an expanding universe. That loose thread in our cosmic tapestry leads directly to a measurement paradox that defies simple explanation. While one team builds a celestial staircase reaching outward from Earth, 
The other decodes patterns frozen in ancient light. Both approaches are scientifically sound, yet yield incompatible answers about our universe's fundamental nature. How do astronomers measure something as vast as the universe's expansion rate? The task resembles constructing a bridge across an immense canyon where each section must perfectly connect to reach the other side. In astronomy, this bridge takes the form of the cosmic distance ladder, a system where each measurement builds upon the previous one, extending our reach deeper into space. The distance ladder functions as a series of interlocking measurements. Astronomers begin with nearby objects whose distances can be directly measured, using these as calibration points for the next segment. This methodical approach extends measurements across billions of light years, though it harbors a crucial vulnerability. Errors in early calculations compound throughout the entire system. At its core, this technique relies on standard candles, celestial objects whose true brightness can be known with high confidence. When Henrietta Swan Leavitt discovered in 1908 that Cepheid variable stars pulse with a rhythm that reveals their actual brightness, she handed astronomers a powerful tool. These cosmic lighthouses became the foundation of modern expansion rate measurements. The Cepheid stars serve as a crucial stepping stone. Once calibrated, they help identify similar stars in distant galaxies that host type IA supernova, catastrophic stellar explosions visible across vast cosmic distances. Adam Rees and his team have refined this multi-step process over decades, methodically climbing the rungs of cosmic measurement to determine the universe's expansion rate. This approach carries the weight of history. Edwin Hubble himself feed variables in the 1920s to prove that spiral nebulae were actual galaxies, fundamentally changing our understanding of the universe's scale. Reese's team stands on these historical shoulders, using modern technology to perfect techniques pioneered a century ago. The CMB method represents a completely different philosophical approach. Rather than building outward from our neighborhood, it examines what astronomers sometimes call the universe's birth certificate. Radiation that has traveled through space since the cosmos was just 380,000 years old. The Planck satellite's mission to map this ancient light revealed temperature variations mere millionths of a degree, providing a snapshot of the infant universe. Cosmologists feed these observations into sophisticated simulations, incorporating our understanding of fundamental physics. Adjusting parameters like dark matter density and dark energy influence determines which expansion rate would transform the early universe into patterns we observe today. This approach predicts the rate on initial conditions and known physics. This tension is particularly vexing because teams have systematically eliminated potential errors. The discrepancy has remained stubbornly persistent with each refinement and cross-check, even growing more statistically significant as measurements become more precise. This cosmic disagreement represents two fundamentally distinct scientific approaches. The distance ladder observes the current universe and works backward, while the CMB method examines the beginning state and projects forward. In an ideal scientific scenario, these paths would converge. Their persistent divergence suggests we may be missing something profound about our universe, a mystery that new instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope might help resolve. Webb's twist, how cutting-edge technology deepened the mystery. When astronomers thought they had exhausted every possible explanation for the Hubble tension, a new player entered the cosmic arena. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most ambitious observatory ever launched, promised to pierce through the veil of uncertainty with its unprecedented infrared vision. This $10 billion technological marvel represented our greatest hope for resolving the expanding universe debate. But sometimes in science, better data doesn't simplify, it complicates. Astronomers worldwide held their breath as JWST turned its golden honeycomb mirrors toward the celestial objects at the heart of the Hubble constant controversy. Its infrared capabilities offered a distinct advantage, the ability to see through cosmic dust clouds that obscure distant stars, potentially cleaning up the measurements that form the foundation of the cosmic distance ladder. If observational errors were causing the Hubble tension, JWST would be the ultimate referee. In February 2024, Nobel laureate Dr. Adam Rice and his team published their analysis of JWST observations in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. 
they had meticulously examined over a thousand Cepheid variable stars, expecting the telescope's crystal clear vision to reveal any hidden flaws in their previous work. The results sent ripples through the scientific community. Their calculations still yielded a Hubble constant, hovering around 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec, essentially unchanged from their previous findings. This confirmation strengthened Rees and his colleagues' position. Their higher expansion rate remained persistent despite using astronomy's most sophisticated eye, implying the tension might reflect something fundamental about our universe that current physics can't explain. The JWST story took an unexpected turn when Dr. Wendy Friedman approached the same telescope data with a different measuring tool. Instead of using CFID variables, Friedman's team focused on stars at the tip of the red giant branch, TRGB, like viewing the same cosmic landscape through an entirely different lens. When Friedman presented her findings at the American Physical Society meeting, they landed like bombshells. Her team calculated a Hubble constant of 69.8 kilometers per second per megaparsec, a value sitting between the competing camps and leaning closer to the CMB-derived value. I have come to the conclusion that we do not require fundamental new physics to explain the differences in the local and distant expansion rates," Friedman declared. The new red giant data show that they are consistent. The scientific community immediately recognized the significance. Could red giants instead of Cephides be the key to resolving the tension? Had subtle biases crept into the Cephide measurements despite decades of refinement? The selection of galaxies in their sample introduces a systematic bias, Reese countered, highlighting how science advances through rigorous debate rather than simple consensus. Our methodology accounts for factors that their analysis overlooks. This scientific drama is fascinating because both teams use the revolutionary telescope but reach different conclusions based on their choice of cosmic yardsticks. Even more intriguing, Friedman's team discovered a discrepancy between galaxy distances implied by TRGB stars versus Cephides in their JWST observations. If confirmed, this finding would cast doubt on the reliability of certain aspects of the distance ladder approach that has been fundamental to astronomy for generations. The broader scientific community split in its reactions. Some cosmologists saw in Friedman's results a path toward reconciliation. Perhaps the universe's expansion rate didn't require exotic new physics after all. Others perceived a deepening crisis, with JWST adding layers of complexity rather than clarity. What was supposed to be astronomy's definitive measuring tool had instead intensified the debate. While the Hubble tension remains unresolved, the scientific community looks to the horizon with hope. Picture the Vera Rubin Observatory, soon to scan the entire southern sky every few nights cataloging millions of supernovae and providing astronomers with an unprecedented trove of standard candles to refine their measurements. Gravitational wave detectors like LIGO add a promising dimension to this cosmic puzzle. By measuring space-time ripples from colliding celestial bodies, these instruments offer an independent dataset, a neutral arbiter between competing methods. This cosmic mystery exemplifies science's passionate persistence constantly evolving, questioning, and reaching for new tools to complete the universal jigsaw. If you're as fascinated by space as we are, you won't want to miss these other videos. We dive even deeper into the universe's secrets and explore recent discoveries that could revolutionize your understanding of the cosmos. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure. Stay curious and keep looking up.